Nine years ago, the United Nations General Assembly voted to designate 11th of October as the International Day of the Girl Child to promote girls' human rights, highlight gender inequalities, and address the various forms of discrimination and abuse suffered by girls globally. For the girl child in Nigeria and indeed Africa, the abuse, discrimination, and issues facing the girl child are enormous. Um, child marriage, access to quality education, unequal opportunities, access to health care and personal hygiene, sexual and reproductive health rights, um, the list goes on. The issues, unfortunately, are not isolated as they, in one way, shape, or form, are interwoven and um, as one of, of all can lead to the other. Now joining us to speak for the girl child is Ayomide Sholanke, uh, an advocate for women and the girl child. Hi, Ayomide. Hi, Elsie. It's really nice to be Nigerian, to mm -hmm. be female at this time. Okay. I've never been prouder. Okay. And although yesterday we ought to have like worldwide celebration, but we know in Nigeria mm -hmm. that could have been muted mm -hmm. for the answers. But it's very important that I'm on your show today and we are going to be talking about what problems, what challenges, and how far we've come. I know the problems are the large, problems are plenty. Much, so just to break it down, let's go straight to you the know, solution. What would you say we should do as a people, as a society, and even the government to help um, the future, which we know is the girl child? I believe that the family is the is the micro sim of the society, mm -hmm. and whatever the family does is important. If a girl is raised to believe that she's only good for church, she's only raised to be married, she's only seen as be something something set to the kitchen, she grows up to be an unbalanced woman that only thinks all of her identity is that. It's someone that begins to celebrate marriage more than her own personal achievement. She sees every other thing that she does geared towards securing the right man. She doesn't mm -hmm. consider that on our own right she is enough. Mm. She's okay. So um, Nigeria has has a lot of has ratified a lot of laws, but we are yet to implement it. We have a lot of legislation. What we should do? There is a Maputo Protocol that says women are equal. Basically, that's what says women are equal to men. And African states should work towards it. Nigerian ratif Nigeria ratified that, but you do not see that effectively because everything seems to be put up so we have a national strategy for for ending child marriage mm. of which Nigeria accounts to have we have 44 percent of girls that are married before they are 18 so we have a national strategy but that is not broken down to every other person down so what should individuals do what should the family do what should the communities do? what should NGOs do that is already a known thing so what we should do, what I would encourage young people to do is, according to the theme of this year, use your voice. Mm -hmm. there, there can be no better time to talk about how your voice can, can make a huge difference as it has happened in Nigeria this weekend. Okay. Use your voice mm -hmm. to see that we, we, we move to women or, or girls towards a place of equality. I remember, I recall an event, we had, we had, we had voted for girls, we had voted female and male leaders, and Immediately after we done the vote, voting system, the female leader was said to, she's supposed, she's supposed to be the vice president. Mm. The, guy, the guy is immediately, I said, no. She okay. had a higher vote. I know you have a lot to say, but um, I know, uh, do you want to go bring in the boy child? Yes, yes, thank you very much for inviting <laughs> me. Yes. So I'd like to address this. In as much as I would not like to water down the importance of the International Day of the Girl Child, mm -hmm. because we know that according to ratio statistics, the female gender suffer the most mm -hmm. of any inequality you want to look at in this world. Mm -hmm. Domestic violence, they, they lead it. Um, um, pay gap disparity, they mm -hmm. lead it. Um, Name it. Whatever, name, name it. it yeah. Whatever it is, it is the women that suffer. Definitely. But does it stop from um, also advocating for the boy child? Because we don't really see a lot of advocacy for the boy, the child. boy child. Because the reason why I'm bringing this up is that now if we're talking about the disparity, the patriarchal system, the um, domestic violence the, um, um, perpetrated by men to women, mm -hmm. it is still because of the training. And I like the fact that you started from the home training, from the beginning, then the inception of this whole conversation. Definitely. is the fact that men are trained to be, you are the stronger one. Mm -hmm. You should be in the parlor, mm -hmm. watching television, mm -hmm. while the girl is in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. You should be the one that the girl should answer to. Your younger sister should bring food for you. Definitely. She should call you brother. Mm -hmm. She should call you. You know, if we start eradicating all those things from the training, so I think it's, it's equally important 
important, in as much as it's important that we're focusing on the girl child, which the ratio is definitely higher, don't you think that it is also time for the people who advocate for the girl child to also infuse one way or another to form a program for the boy child as well? Thank you very much. Advocacy for the female child does not eliminate the presence or the importance of the name boy child. Name two people talking about the boy child. No, they, they, I've seen boys. Okay, name boys, two. I, I, I've seen, I, I might not be able to give you names. But I've okay, seen, name three I've, for the girl child. <laughs> Definitely. There are a lot. There are a lot. Time is good. There are a lot. But I just, want to, I just want us to know that feminism is not equal to men hating. I didn't even bring, it doesn't up, I didn't even bring involve up feminism that we, out here. I feminism is basically women acting to be more equal. Mm -hmm. To be equal, not more equal. To be equal to men. So when we advocate for the girl child, we do not say that the boy child is equal. We just understand that they are the not, they are not ad regarded as the same. Have you seen women rejoice for the birth of a boy and rejoice for the birth? We cannot deny that people do not have well, disparity. That about I've seen, well, excuse me, I've seen uh, the birth of a third girl in a family that already has two girls, compared to the birth of a boy in a family that already has two girls, there seems to be this, uh, she's a girl. Ah, you get a boy another time. Why mm. should that even be in a conversation? Let me, let me, let when me. they are but both if, if, me. If, you have to, if you have to sum up all we have to do and looking at where we used to be, where we are now, how far would you say we've come and what more can be done? Because we really need to wrap up this segment. Good, thank you. Yeah. I, I believe that we have come a long way. I, I saw on Twitter yesterday, people were actually advocating that any guy that harassed a lady at any of the protests was going to get it. Yeah. I was very impressed that people actually talked towards girls to that instance. But what I would want us to do more is to encourage more women. Women are not only the literate ones we see in the offices. There are mm -hmm. people in the markets that train mm -hmm. their boys to believe that they are in every way more important than their girls. There are people that will believe that girls being married young is not a problem mm -hmm. for them, provided she can bear children, mm -hmm. or that because she's already pregnant, there's no need for her to be in school anymore. Mm -hmm. So I will believe that we should take advocacy more importantly to those women in encourage them to, because it is them, it is the family that is going to determine. I could have a day of empowerment for girls. It will not compare to 18 years. So you're calling years. for more community more conversation? More community, family conversations okay. so that we could address this from the very root. Thank okay, you so, so much. I like, I sorry, am. before we conclude. Very quickly. When you talk about the root, right, um, I think okay. that the first thing we should focus on, so in as much as, this is just my two cents, right? Yeah, yeah. In as much as we're talking about the female, we should focus on the root cause as well, yes. which is the man, and talking about how to train them to treat women right. Definitely. Okay, thank definitely. You. And thank you so much for that one, Ife. Yeah.